Kyoto. This video is about the solar system or Reiranga o Tamanui Tera. The solar system is made up of the Sun, the eight planets that orbit the Sun, and various natural satellites, asteroids, comets, and meteors. At the heart of our solar system sits Tamanui Tera, the Sun. This yellow dwarf star takes up 99.8% of the total mass of the solar system and is by far the largest object. Its gravity holds the solar system together, keeping everything from the biggest planets to the smallest particles of debris in orbit around it. The sun is a hot ball of exploding gases that gives heat and light to us here on Earth. 57.9 million kilometers away, a parangi, or Mercury, is the planet nearest the sun. It is also the smallest planet. Because its surface consists of rough, porous, dark-colored rock, Mercury is a poor reflector of sunlight. The second planet from the sun, 108 million kilometers away, is Kulpu, or Venus. Venus rotates very slowly on its axis, and the direction is retrograde, meaning opposite to that of the Earth. It is the hottest planet with a surface temperature twice as hot as an oven at 460 degrees Celsius. This planet is under pressure, meaning the surface pressure is 96 times that on the Earth. Papatuanuku, Earth, is the only planet we know that's inhabited by living things and the only planet that has liquid water on its surface. The Earth and its satellite, the moon, move together in an elliptical, nearly circular orbit around the sun. Earth is 150 million kilometers away from the sun. The red planet fourth from the sun, at 228 million kilometers away, is Matafero, or Mars. Mars is a cold, dry, and dusty world. Its surface is red due to the iron oxidizing in the soil. In other words, it's gone rusty. Visible bright caps composed of frozen water and CO2 mark the planet's polar regions. Pariaro, or Jupiter, is the fifth and largest planet. It is a gas giant with cold windy clouds of ammonia and a giant red spot, which is a storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. Jupiter is 778 million kilometers away from the sun. At 1.4 billion kilometers away, the sixth planet from the sun is Rongu, or Saturn. The average density of Saturn is only one-eighth that of Earth, as the planet consists mainly of hydrogen. Saturn's icy rings make it visually unique. While the other gas giants have rings, it's safe to say that Saturn's are far more dramatic and spectacular. Its visible rings are about five meters thick. Ferangi, or Uranus, is the seventh planet from the Sun at 2.8 billion kilometers away. It is thought that there was a major collision in Uranus's early existence, causing it to rotate at a nearly 90 degree angle to the plane of our solar system. So it appears to be on its side. The consequence is that each pole faces the Sun for 42 years, half the year of Uranus and then is in darkness for 42 years. The eighth and most distant planet is Tangaroa, or Neptune. Neptune is so far away, 4.4 billion kilometers to be exact, that it was located through mathematical calculations before it was seen. The presence of up to 3% atmospheric methane gives the planet its striking blue color. The temperature of the surface of Neptune is about negative 218 degrees Celsius much like Uranus, which is more than 1.5 billion kilometers closer to the sun. Therefore, scientists assume that Neptune must have some internal heat source. The eight planets we have just learned about can be divided into two groups, terrestrial planets and gas giants. Terrestrial planets have solid, rocky surfaces. They are the first four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Gas giants are larger and made mostly of gas with small cores of rocky materials. 
They are the last four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Naamihi nui kiakwe. You now have an understanding of the eight planets in our solar system. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.